A new day begins here in Samsun, one of the most beautiful cities in Turkey's Black Sea coast. This city is radically important for the Turkish history, Turkish independence and Turkish sovereignty. But soon, a new era will begin for Turkey with an aircraft that is being publicly shown for the first time in Technofest Black Sea. Technofest Black Sea is the world's biggest aviation, space and technology festival. The star of this festival is Bayraktar Kızılelma that is being prepared for its maiden flight in 2023. This is neither a mock-up nor a model. This is an actual second production prototype. It is planned to take skies in 2025. This second production prototype was unveiled on August 30, Turkish Victory Day. The day that marks a decisive military victory against the invading Greek forces. The name choice for this Turkish fighter UAV is quite an interesting one. It has not been chosen by some sort of coincidence. Symbolism is all over the place. And now we will explain what Kızıl Elma means. Elma can be translated into English as the red apple and the red apple has a critical importance for the Turkish history. Basically, Kızıl Elma is something that you try to reach but as you get closer to your target, the target actually moves away from you so at the end of the day, you may never reach your target. But here, now, we have a concrete example of such dream by Raktar Kızıl Elma. This aircraft is being developed by Baykar, the famous maker of Bayraktar TBT UAVs, Bayraktar Akinci UAVs, and now we have Bayraktar Kızıl Elma, the Turkish fighter UAV. This aircraft has been in the dreams of Bayraktar brothers, the CEO of the company, Haluk Bayraktar, and the CTO of company, Selçuk Bayraktar, and their father, the founder of Baykar, Özdemir Bayraktar, who passed away just last year. Kızıl Elma has been in their dreams for more than a decade, but now they are closer to reaching their target more than ever. Bayraktar Kızıl Elma will be powered by Ukrainian-made engines, and one of the versions will include a double engine that will take Kızıl Elma to supersonic speeds. When we ask to Selçuk Bayraktar as Gede Hash defense if Ukraine can still supply these engines on time despite the ongoing war, he explained to us with a confident look that Well, they're already supplying, they're already supplied. They have all the supplies. Yeah. Kızıl Elma will have a maximum takeoff weight of 6 tons and a payload of 1.5 tons. And it will use a wide range of domestically made Turkish missiles. For example, we have Göktan missile, an air-to-air -air missile that is being prepared for 2023. And we have Aselsan's miniature bomb. Right next to that, we have Rocket Suns and Tubitak Sages Som cruise missile. This is Turkey's first ever cruise missile, and it can be carried on either in the interior weapons bay or at the exterior weapons bay of this aircraft. Bayraktar Kızıl Elma will have a wide number of stealth features. For example, you see a scattered body in this part of this aircraft. And even this provides keeping low the radar cross-section and achieving an air dominance in fight. The structural integration of Bayraktar Kızıl Elma has been largely completed. The process of mechanical and avionics integration still continues. Bayraktar Kızıl Elma will also have the capability to be operated from Turkish Navy vessels such as TCG Anadolu, the future flagship of the Turkish Navy which is expected to be commissioned in the next year. The maker of Bayraktar Mini UAV, Bayraktar TB2 and Bayraktar Akıncı and now Bayraktar Kızıl Elma plans to increase its production capacity dramatically in the next year. As it has been announced by Selçuk Bayraktar, the CTO of the company, when Bayraktar TB3 and Kızıl Elma enter service, 
they will revolutionize the history of warfare. Right next to the Turkish fighter UAV Kızılelma, we have Bayraktar Akuncu, the Turkish unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Baykar has so far produced around 20 Bayraktar Akuncu UAVs. The company plans to produce at least 50 of these aircraft in the next year. So far, they have delivered 12 of these aircraft to the Turkish security forces. And just yesterday, the Turkish President Erdogan visited Technofest Black Sea. While visiting this festival, the President himself signed the aircraft. Baykar has so far produced more than 400 Bayraktar TB2 UAVs. But the company now plans to produce at least 500 Bayraktar TB2s in the next year. The company's current production capacity now stands at 200. Baykar can produce a single Bayraktar TB2 unit in just a one and a half day. Bayraktar TB2 unmanned combat aerial vehicles has been game changer on the battlefields. They have been used in Syria, in Libya, in Karabakh, and even in Ethiopia. But as the years go by, Bayraktar TB2 will leave its place to Bayraktar Akinci and Bayraktar Kızılelma. And on a side note, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a thumbs up on this video. Oh, <laughs>